So today we're going to go for a walk through one of my favourite parks in Berlin, Trap Tower Park. And it's uh, just got a bit of everything, you know, it's got the river, it's got the trees and the forestry, and it also has a giant Soviet memorial we're going to go check out. Let's go for a walk, let's see what we see, and yeah. Alright guys, here we are. We're about to cross in the mighty archway into the Soviet Memorial. Here we are on the kind of pathway into the main bit of the memorial. You can just kind of, there's such an epic vibe to it. Look at this walk, walkway with the arching trees hanging over. So it definitely sets an impression as you walk on in. A little bit of construction right now. That's a shame to see when this, when these fences aren't here, it's quite the sight. Of course, it was actually the Soviets that liberated and took Berlin at the end of World War II. And construction on this memorial started in 1948. It's only three years after the end of, of the World War. And it's widely believed that this red marble here used in these uh, structures was actually taken straight out of Hitler's chancellery office. So here we are. This is the main part of the Soviet memorial. This long walkway up to this great statue up there. We'll go check that out. But it doesn't look like they're doing some construction on that side. But it looks like we can still go down this side. And here we have another plaque uh, with Russian and German. And the German says, The Heimat wird era held in nicht vergessen. Which basically means the homeland will not forget its heroes. You gotta respect that. So obviously, you should probably also address the kind of mixed feelings you might get when you visit a place like this because although the Soviet Union did help the Allies and definitely play a huge part in defeating the Nazi regime and I think World War II would have gone a little bit differently without their assistance. It's not like that assistance came at no, no cost and obviously there was a lot of tension between the Allies and the Soviets and then obviously after World War II they went on to kind of inform their own regime with the USSR but you know you have to also address the other side. So it's kind of a shame because this whole section is fenced off and this is kind of stopping us from getting even closer to the main statue here. So let's go in and see if we can get a closer look at it at least. So this is the main kind of focal point of the memorial and it's, you've got this giant statue atop of the stairs and if you can't make it out what it is is it's a soldier with a child clutched in one arm a sword in the other and he's standing atop of a crumpled nazi swastika no lost imagery on this one but i actually do think it's a really cool statue really invokes this powerful image and uh yeah i wish you could see it up close but let's get one last look at it here
Hey there everyone, great little walk around Trap Tower Park. I'm probably going to end the video here just because my GoPro battery is about to die. Nice little walk to get out, check out this great park in Berlin, check out the memorial and let's see what we get up to next time.